guys and welcome to the Hoffenheim versus Liverpool a Champions League a playoff uh, pre-match build-up. Uh, it's going to be an interesting tie, especially after the weekend's result, guys. Uh, absolutely woeful defending, but some scintillating play going forward from the front three. Not at the flu of best, of course, but uh, still pretty damn impressive. Uh, we won't go into that. If you want to know my thoughts on the uh, Wofford game, make sure to go and check out that video. Uh, we'll come on to half an hour now. Uh, finish fourth in the Bundesliga, same position Liverpool did in the Premier League. Uh, pretty good side. Uh, they did take four points off Bayern Munich last season as well, and a point off uh, both uh, RB Leipzig and uh, Borussia Dortmund, who are both finished. Well, all three of them teams finished above them in the league, so that that bodes well for them. Pretty good team. They only lost one player in pre-season as well. Uh, that was already agreed. I think it was in January that deal was agreed with Nicolas Sewell, the centre back, uh, moving to uh, Bayern Munich. They have brought in a couple of players. One of them we all know. Uh, from his time in the Premier League with West Ham is uh, Havard Nordvelt, uh, so decent signing for them. And uh, Much and Glad backs Nico Schultz has uh, moved over to Hoffenheim as well, so uh, two decent additions to their squad to uh, help them improve. Uh, of course, Liverpool finished fourth as well last season, so it's going to be a tough one. It could have been worse for the Reds, of course, we could have had a lot more uh, to travel. Thankfully, uh, it's only to Germany, only about an hour and a half away, so uh, not too bad at all. Uh, and we're away from home as well, so that's another good omen for us. Uh, we've, we're normally pretty good away from home. Uh, so, some interesting stats about the game as well, before we go into the team news and that. Uh, Liverpool unbeaten in their last six games against German opposition from the Bundesliga. Uh, overall, it's 36 games played, and we've only lost six games, so that's pretty impressive, guys. Uh, away from home though, uh, we've only won twice, so not so impressive when you look at it that way. Uh, last five, right, we'll go to, towards the second game, the home leg. Uh, last five European games at Anfield uh, have produced home victory and we're unbeaten in our last nine at home, so if we can get a draw or a win away, I'm pretty confident we'll, uh, we'll definitely be getting a group stage in the Champions League. Uh, last team to beat us at home at Anfield, just a little point there, is Real Madrid back in 2014. Uh, Klopp himself as manager has uh, been against Hoffenheim 16 times. Uh, with Mainz he played them twice, drew once, lost once. And with Dortmund he won five, drew five, lost four. So it's a pretty even record, so hopefully he can uh, get that win against them this time. Uh, on to the key men as well, uh, for Hoffenheim it's uh, Kramaric, a Croatian uh, striker, uh, a lot of people would probably say uh, Sandro Wagner is their, you know, their main threat, but he's potentially out for this game with a minor injury picked up in a friendly against a Bologna a week or so ago. Uh, Kramaric though was their top goal scorer last season, getting 15 goals. And his strengths are basically holding up the ball, counter attacks, and uh, pretty good at indirect set pieces, so corners and crossing the ball in from the wide areas, which does a bode well for us because that is a big weakness for us, especially corners. Oh, God, I don't want to go over that again, guys. Please, please, Liverpool, don't concede from corners on Tuesday night. Please, please, please. Uh, moving on to Liverpool's key man, uh, I think it's going to be Sado Mane, uh, especially with Coutinho still out. Or, or maybe leaving, we'll, we'll find out shortly, I'm sure. Uh, but he's going to be our main goal threat, I think, uh, and you know, makes part of the perfect front three that we've got with Firmino and Salah, uh, who also can score goals themselves. All three of them did score at the weekend. Uh, but I think Mane, you know, I think he'll be the main man, guys, and uh, hopefully he will you know, keep that goal scoring form going. And what a goal it was as well. If, Wofford, a beautiful, beautiful goal. Anyway, on to the uh, team news, guys. Uh, as I said, uh, Sandro Wagner looks like he's out for Hoffenheim. Uh, he got 11 goals from last season. There's, there's a chance he could still play. Uh, it's only a minor knock. He didn't play at the weekend in their cup game, but uh, Hoffenheim did put out a bit of a weekend side, to be fair. Uh, and uh, the rest of the team is pretty fit and ready to go. No other injury problems for them. Of course, for us... It's a completely different story, guys. Of course, Coutinho is out, possibly leaving, hopefully not. That's a story for another day. Uh, Lallana's still out as well. Uh, Sturridge is definitely out. Uh, Nathaniel Klein out as well. So, <sighs> that's that's quite quite a few key personnel, especially Lallana and Coutinho. Uh, they're, they're definite starters there, and probably Klein as well. So, 
it, it's a tough one for the Reds there, guys. It is a tough one with the injuries, but we can't complain about them, guys. We've, we've known if, like we've known Klein's going to be out. We know Sturridge has injury problems anyway, and Lalan has been out for a little, well, a few weeks at least. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right with the team we can uh, put out there. Uh, as I said, though, it's a two-legged affair, so it's all to play for. I, I, I think. I think, guys, we'll, we'll manage to get a goal there. Uh, I, I hope we'll get a goal there because I'm pretty sure we're going to concede. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw, I think, uh, and then we can do the business back at Anfield in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, as I said, it's the first first bit of European experience that Hoffenheim are going to have, and I think our, our, our experience in the European game, as well as Klopp's as well, don't forget, he's he's had a lot of experience with uh, Dortmund, uh, getting to a Champions League fan, also a, Euro a European try. Uh, European final, get my words out, uh, in the Europa League with Liverpool in his first uh, what six months in the job. So he's got a lot of experience. The team itself has got a lot of experience as well in European competition. So I think we'll 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 just edge them overall in the two legs. And I think first leg probably going to be a draw. Way goal for us, um, probably a goal. Hopefully only the one for them, and hopefully not from a set piece. That that would just kill me. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.